Well, hello, hello. Welcome to Dave and Callie. Well, today, guys, I got news, but yeah, it's really not news, but just something to stop and think about. Remember when COVID first came out and our hospitals were overrun? The doctors and nurses were working overtime, mega hours, with little or no PPE. Remember, remember the media calling out because all all this was happening, and, and these guys worked tirelessly, putting in overtime, stressed out, and some of them even caught COVID. Yeah, I remember that. Well, as time goes on. All of a sudden, they got a handle on it. And all our doctors and nurses and staff were all heralded as, you know, frontline heroes, as they truly are. You know, we shouted out, these guys are heroes. We had special planes flying over with signs saying how much we appreciated people carrying banners and, and you know, little uh, uh, things of recognition to all the hospitals and all the workers, you know, for, for putting up with all this. So now those same heroes are being told that if they don't do something they don't want to do, that they chose not to do, that they're going to be fired. They've lost their freedom and their liberty in choice. Whatever happened to my body, my choice? I don't know. I guess I haven't heard that in a while because they had to drop that. Yeah, that's true. Well, this is all part of the Build Back Better by the Biden administration. That's a mouthful. So, you know, if you look across the nation, I mean, already we've seen like 150 heroes lose their jobs in Houston at the Methodist Hospital. North Carolina, their hospital system fired 175 workers over the same mandate. Oh, by the way, I remember when back when things were really bad and the hospitals were struggling, a nurse came out in Chicago, matter of fact. She said that she was terminated by Northwest, uh, Northwest Memorial Hospital after sending out emails to about 50 of her colleagues saying that they should be wearing more protective equipment and that it wasn't being provided by the hospital. And she got fired. Huh, that's a double standard. I'm telling you that for some reason, the common sense in our society is just, I don't know what, what's happening. This is, this is unprecedented. And yet we're allowing it to happen. There's gonna become a breaking point. Either we all stand up and say, you know what? This is our country. We have constitutional rights. The government is a representative for us, not a controller. We, the people, have all the power. When you read the Constitution, it says we have all the power. And we have the power to say, you know what? You're out of here. But yet we're not doing it. Granted, it probably takes over 50% of the people, but you would think that at least if you have half of the nation crying out that our, our leaders would, you know, hear the message, take heed. Anyway, guys, I'm going to be starting a, a, also another link, I'll probably put it down below, where we can talk about stuff that YouTube will not allow us to talk about over on my own blog site and I'll put the link down below. It's, I own the, my own server and I can post whatever I want. You can also comment over there. You can, you can even sign up and, and leave your email. So in case I get terminated over here, I can send you an email and tell you where we're at. Um, all this chat, this whole channel gets backed up on Odyssey. So if anything gets deleted or I get deleted, you can always run over to Odyssey. Um, it, that's one feature that I like about Odyssey. It, it will sync all your uh, YouTube channels and makes copies so that uh, if, it, if you get wiped out here, you still have everything over there. Anyway, guys, remember to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, tell others about it too. 
and we'll see you on the next one.